Hey guys, now I can 23 here. I'm going to teach you how to make an After Effects self-writing text. So what we're going to do, here's the user interface, this is what I work with. It's After Effects uh, 9.0 and here we are. So here's what we're going to do. Make a new comp and yeah. So here we go. I'm going to go to composition, new comp. Now let's make the width uh, 864 by 486. Um, this looks good. Um, let's make the duration about 15 seconds. Click OK. So here we have our comp. So what we're going to do with this is um, we're going to take the text tool and write whatever you want. doesn't really care. I don't really care. Um, uh, oops, this isn't working. Okay, so make sure it isn't like overlapping like that. It's probably because of the space between the text. So I'm just going to write it out on the side. So, okay. So what I'm going to do now, select the layer, and that size it down, scale it down, move it in the middle. So now we have to choose a font. So this font is too like computer sort of. So to make self-writing text, it should be more like a writing font. So what we're going to do is um, uh, we're going to toggle the fonts by clicking on the layer thin the fonts and moving up and down with the arrow keys arrow keys like just like this so I'm gonna look for a good writing font uh, let's see uh, Oh, that was good. Okay, so um, um, what we're gonna do now is just size it down a bit. Move the space in the middle again. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is uh, take a mask tool, and um, so what we're gonna do is uh, get the mask around the letters just like that. So it doesn't have to be exact; it can be pretty close like that. You don't have to do it. Perfect, and uh, keep uh, moving it like that, and yeah. So you can uh, cross over the letter if uh, after you finished like that, and just kind of mask this whole thing. Okay, so I finished masking. So okay, so now we're going to get this mask. So click M on this layer we get the mask settings and click mm then you get all this and uh, first we'll select the mask okay so select the mask go to effect generate stroke right there so now we have these settings so what we're gonna do is see the brush size increase it or cover the letters just like that so um what we're gonna do is increase the brush size so that it covers the original fonts letters so you can't really see the other letters the fonts letters so this stroke will cover the original text so just like that make sure no spots are left Okay, so um, here we are. Make the brush size as small as possible, um, but still cover all of the text. Yeah, just fixing a little bit. Um, so we're still in the mask options, and let's turn the masks off for a sec. And for and see, as you can see, it writes itself. But see, the text is still there, so we'll fix that in a sec. Um, so you, in the start way, you can do that in the opposite direction too. Uh, I'll make that. So 
So now we're gonna make it so that the text, the font text, comes up. So let's can see we're in zero over here. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go to click check the all masks checkbox. That'll make it a little smoother. Um, well, that'll do the whole mask. And for paint style, do reveal original image. So now, when you do N and go down, it'll write itself. But now we need to animate it. So we'll make the end to zero. We'll set a keyframe at zero seconds on end. We'll go forward about let's see four four seconds. Four seconds, um then we'll hit a hundred. And there you go. Animated text. And if you wanna add a picture in the background, you can do that and you can make it move. So what you can do is um go to file, import a file, and looking for some pictures. So here I have a picture. Um you can just use it, drag it out, it should come up and I'll make my next tutorial about setting a camera and making the text and the camera move at the same time. If you want to see an example of something with the, I made with self-writing text, you can uh, go to my channel and go to my video, check out the new intro, and yeah. So, hey, see ya.